This video is for first grade lesson 25, and I'll be going over some of the questions from each section. So the first section is about addition and subtraction, and I'll be using a few different methods in solving addition and subtraction problems for this section. Starting with number one, one of the ways we can use is using circles. So let's start from three. One, two, three circles, and we're going to add six more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're going to add nine more to this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. So now we can count how many are there in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. So we know that the answer for number one will be eighteen. Let's look at number seven. Another way you can solve these problems are by using vertical methods which is you line up the numbers by its places like ones place with ones and tens with tens and start adding starting with the ones place six plus five let's see six plus five is equal to eleven so we're going to put eleven like this and 3 plus 2 is equal to 5, and 5 plus 1 is equal to 6, so we're going to have the answer of 61 for number 7. Now let's look at number 13. Number 13 says 28 minus 14 minus 2. Let's start by doing the using the vertical method. 28 minus 14, 8 minus 4 is equal to 4, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1, so we have 14. And from 14, we have to subtract 2. So from 14, you're going to count backwards twice, so you'll get 14, 13, and 12. So 12 will be the answer for number 13. So the next page is about volume. So the instruction says write the numbers in correct place, correct volume. So uh, these questions will be pretty simple to solve, pretty easy to solve. And I'll show an example of number one and number eight. Number one says five tens and two ones. And you basically have to write what, as what it says. So there are five tens, so 50, and two ones, which is two. So we just add 52. 50 and two and get 52. For number eight, now we have hundreds as well, but that doesn't really do anything because it would just be 492. That's what you will, will be. That's what you can do for number one through ten. And at the bottom of the page, you see write the correct volumes with the highlighted number. So, for example, three hundred twenty-five. The volume of two is equal to twenty, and from four hundred fifty-two, the volume of four is equal to four hundred. So let's look at number number four. Number 13. Number 4 says 624. And the volume of 6, which is highlighted, you see that it's 600. And for number 13, it's ha it says 378. And looking at the volume of 7, it's in the tenths place, so we'll write 70. So except for the highlighted volume, you, just, you can just think that it's all 0 except for that. So it would be 600. Zero, zero. So that's why it's 600. And for this one, 
seven zero. Now moving on to the next section, it's about comparing numbers. So this would be greater sign. This would be less than. This would be equal to. Let's see, for number one, we have to compare five and two. So when we count, we know that two comes before five. So it goes one, two, three, four, five. And as we count, the numbers get greater. So we know that five is bigger than two. So we'll write that five is bigger than two. Let's look at another one. So number four through eight, these are the same type of problem. It's just that you have to do one step before actually comparing the numbers. So for number seven, we first have to do nine plus one. Nine plus one is equal to 10 and 14 minus six. 14 minus six is from 14 going one, two, three, four, five, six backwards. When we count, we'll get 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8. So we know that it's it's 10 versus 8. So we know that 8 comes before 10. So we know that 10 is greater than 8. So the answer would be that 9 plus 1 is greater than 14 minus 6. And these, this is how you would be doing the rest of the question, for the rest of the question. And now moving on to the last section, which is a word problem. We have the table given to us and we just have to uh, answer the questions related to it. So let's look at number three. Who sold the most boxes of cookie and by how many? So let's look at the numbers, eight, two, four, and six. When we look at these four numbers, we can see right away that eight is the greatest. So we'll look, we'll say that's eight. And who sold the most? We see that K sold the most. So this is how you'll be writing the answer. And let's look at number six for last. How many more boxes did Cindy sell than Jeff? So for this question, we have to look at Cindy, and we have to look at Jeff. So Cindy sold, Cindy's over here, and Cindy sold four boxes of cookie. And when we look at Jeff, Jeff sold two boxes of cookie. So we have to do four minus two, because we have to know how many more boxes of uh, cookies Cindy sold than Jeff. So when we do 4 minus 2, we can use circles. When we subtract 2, we have 2 left. So for the answer, we'll write 2 more boxes.